Hello and welcome back. Dr. Rick Dina of Raw Food Education. And as you can all see since our last episode when we planted this lettuce bed out, which was just about six weeks ago, there has been a lot of growth. In fact, we've been harvesting for a couple of weeks now. So at four weeks after planting, normal spring conditions, didn't have any heat waves or anything, we were able to start harvesting. Now, one thing you might notice is that there's not quite as much growth down here closer to the house than there is out here. This area has gotten more sun, but, and that's fine, but over the course of the summer, it's all gonna get more sun and we don't wanna burn out the lettuce like we've talked about. Now, our main method for harvesting this lettuce is to come down and sustainably harvest. Pick like one, a couple of outer leaves off this, couple outer leaves off here, a few from here, a few from there. And just from doing that a little bit, we get huge bowls of lettuce and then we both eat giant salads with lettuce and other stuff for dinner. And it's just so great to get fresh lettuce. We'll set that aside right there for now to come back to later. You can also see obviously that some of these, even though we're only six weeks in and it's in the spring, have already bolted on us. Now we can still harvest this for a while, but once it's bolted, it's not gonna keep producing all that much anymore. So what we're gonna do for some of these is some of these we'll just go ahead and cut them, the ones that have bolted already, and get all those leaves, but then we can replant new starts here. And in the meantime, we have a lot of other stuff to harvest from. So sustainable harvesting, few things get, uh, get away from us and bolt. We'll just get those and plant new stuff. And by doing that constant progression of rotation, hopefully this is gonna give us a year round supply of lettuce, which is gonna be great. Now, if we come on over here, because it's the spring here, We've started some of our lettuce out in the back of the yard here, which as you can see gets more sun and now the sun's in my eyes. Now this stuff's gonna bolt more quickly and over the next few months, we're in mid-May right now, over the next few months it's actually just gonna get burnt out and not do so well because direct sun isn't so great for lettuce. And then we'll plant some other stuff here that does better in the sun. Then finally, back over here, which you've seen before, is our red romaine and green romaine. Now some of this red romaine here is starting to bolt. We've been harvesting quite a bit out of here, and we'll do the same kind of thing. But once again, this area over here on the side of the house gets a lot more sun, and over the next few months, the lettuce isn't gonna do so well here. We'll plant some other stuff like tomatoes or whatnot. So in any case, we've got a lot of lettuce. It's really good. You saw it took some time and effort in order to build the beds and get this stuff planted. But now is the fun part. We come out every night, we pick a bunch of lettuce, we add it to our salad. It's local, it's organic, it's super healthy. And we haven't had to buy any in the store and it's been great. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and harvest some lettuce now and fill this up. So I'm gonna start over here with the area in the sun that's bolted a little bit. And once we get a little more out of these, we're probably just gonna cut them. But you know, they're still going here. So a few from here, a few from here, a few back from here, a few from these in the front. And we'll get a few red romaines from this area over here. A few green romaines from back on this side. And I actually like these green romaines. They're sort of more like the uh, traditional romaine that you get in the store. They have the, the crunchy white part in the middle, which I kind of like lettuce with some good crunch. So we'll get plenty of this. So we're getting there and then I'll get the rest from our actual lettuce bed. And it's always nice to see our garden helpers out here for moral support and sometimes he thinks that he's the, uh, the chief aerator and fertilizer of the beds, as you can imagine what he likes to do in there. We're gonna get some, uh, this one's bolting a little bit, so we'll take a few from those that are bolting. Let's see. 
Looks like some more different kind of romaine over here. Very nice. We've got some red oak lettuce. And that's not growing a real lot, so I'll just take maybe one leaf from this one, one leaf from this one. And we want to let this keep growing. It's growing a little bit slower than some of the other ones. But nevertheless, it'll be nice to have a little bit of a variety here. Uh, let's go ahead and get a few of those. And it's nice, we've got quite a variety of different lettuces here. And some nights maybe we'll just get one kind. Other nights we'll get a whole mix like I'm doing tonight. Let's see, get some of these from down below. These are some nice crunchy ones here. We get some more, let's see, what is this green oak here? Get some of the green oak lettuce. So we'll get some good red romaine here also. Pick some of those. Boy, this one has some big leaves in the back here. That looks like a really good one. Its neighbor is pretty good too. So we'll just kind of pull those from the outside. Keep packing that down so we can fit more lettuce in there. The more the better, basically. We've got some more romaine here that's about to bolt, so we might as well get a few of these. Let's see, there's the outside one. Pull all these outer leaves off. Still plenty left and it's going to keep on growing. That looks like a nice one. Keep packing that down. Uh, where else? This looks like a nice big leaf. We'll take that. And maybe a few more of these romaines that are bolting in the middle here. Might as well use those up before they bolt too much that the leaves aren't any good anymore. Get this here. Get those there. So look at this, our bowl runneth over. And basically this is, it may look like, you know, enough for a whole family, but basically my wife and I are gonna split this up and put this in our salad tonight with a whole pile of other vegetables. And the way things are going, it looks like we're gonna be able to do this just about every day and, and enjoy lots of lettuce. So all our efforts were worth it.